Bright, sunny and seasonable to end the month of February. Temperatures this afternoon reached a high of 44, which felt pleasant in the sunshine. 24 was where we started this morning. No rain or snow to measure today. Our monthly total 3.01 inches and with today being the final day of meteorological winter, a good opportunity to see how things stand And this winter. 13.5 inches of snow so far, but the important thing is just since January 23rd, 13 of that 13.5 inch total fell. So quite a bit of snow just in the last five weeks. Not much before that. I don't think we're going to add much of any additional accumulation over the next several days as the weather pattern this week does look to be rather quiet. Temperatures now mostly in the lower to middle 40s. We're 44 in Lima, 45 degrees in Van Wert. It's 45 also as we look to the northeast in Bluffton. We enjoyed the sunshine for much of the day today. Clouds trying to sneak back in, but any extra clouds tonight won't cause any trouble, partly to mostly cloudy skies expected overnight, but it should stay precipitation free. And this week, the weather pattern does look rather quiet. A couple of weak fronts moving through a fast jet stream flow, but not much precipitation. This front Front gets here tomorrow with some extra clouds out ahead of the boundary. Temperatures will climb a bit, likely to near 50. Our next chance of rain later Wednesday, and at that, just an isolated shower expected. So our skycast for this evening, partly to mostly cloudy conditions. Later tonight, a mostly cloudy sky, but not much of any precipitation. We'll start mostly cloudy tomorrow morning, and we keep the clouds around as that weak cold front approaches. Still, despite the front moving in, Really not expecting much of any rain or snow tomorrow afternoon. More clouds tomorrow night. Wednesday, a mostly cloudy start. And then later Wednesday afternoon, a slightly stronger cold front approaches. This could generate a stray shower or two, especially near and north of U.S. Route 30. But we're talking maybe enough to dampen the pavement, and it only looks to be brief and isolated at best. After that, later Wednesday night, our rain chances go away. This weekend, it does appear that we're going to start to warm up a bit. A ridge builds in the eastern U.S. And check out these temperatures. Sunday afternoon into the 60s across much of the state of Ohio. It looks mild into Monday. And then uh, next week, temperatures will trend colder once again. So it is going to warm up, especially later this week and heading into the weekend. Temperatures this evening, lower 40s for most of us. Later tonight, we fall back into the mid-30s. And we'll start tomorrow morning at 35 degrees in Ottawa, 37 in Finley, 37 in Wapakoneta. Tomorrow afternoon, even with the mostly cloudy sky, it does turn milder with a southerly breeze. Temperatures near 50 for most of us at 3 p.m., 50 in Delphus, 53 degrees in Salina. So again for tonight, partly to mostly cloudy conditions. Temperatures slowly settle back. It won't be as cold tonight as last night by morning down to 34 for a low. A mostly cloudy sky is on the way for tomorrow. Temperatures in the afternoon climbing to 51 thanks to that breeze out of the south and southwest. Seven day storm authority forecast for our Wednesday. Partly cloudy, maybe a late day shower, but should it occur, it won't amount to much. And then Thursday, we're looking for colder conditions as that front goes through. Still generally a quiet weather pattern. Clouds and seasonable for Friday mid 40s. We're mild for the weekend. A couple of showers. How about 65 degrees on Sunday? Rain on Monday, still mild. And then later Monday night and next Tuesday, we cool back. Katie.